Ron Kuzner is my name. This is the dark side. The dark side of Wednesday, the 28th of January, 1981. This is obviously fine arts programming from WFMR in Milwaukee. A message of safety from Michael Drake and from WFMR in Milwaukee. Definition of a jazz musician. Mm -hmm. That that the the true jazz musician, the improviser, can only play himself. Right. Uh, it it regardless of what instrument is being used, what you're hearing is the essence of that human being, and that there's no way to be honest with your music without letting your true being show. Yes, no. Very true. I mean, to be a good one, you have to be well enough along the way. Of, of knowing what you're doing to to let yourself go uh, project through your music. We all pick up licks from each other, things that we like, but it's the way we play those, you know. We all hear everything different. I hear Miles and I hear Freddie Hubbard different than you do. And it's what what it, how it comes back out of me that makes it different. And um, some people will copy like crazy, and they will sound, oh, you sound just like this guy, you sound just like that guy. Well, then they're not really playing from their, yeah. their themselves, you know. And uh, the best players copy, that's, that's a very important basic thing to do. Uh, in any art form, you must copy. But it's your job then to use that information and... Uh, uh, play it from from within. Yeah. Use that when you need it. Very good questions, though. <laughs> I always enjoy your questions. It's a way of of, of uh, historians become historians by studying other historians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Precisely. And 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 obviously the same holds forth or holds true for for the jazz improviser. Uh, mm -hmm. You know the. Uh, well, certainly we have about uh, eight minutes in front of the hour. My guest this morning has been Michael Drake, who will be playing a job this Thursday evening at the Metropole on Oakland Avenue, along with uh, Warner Wiegratz and Dwayne Sturmer and some others, and you're invited to attend and enjoy the music. I would also suggest that you check out the, uh, the EP called Jessica at your favorite record store, and uh, within the next five to six to seven weeks, you'll probably find a new artistic endeavor featuring Michael Drake's trumpet and flugelhorn in your favorite store. And while I don't mean to lecture anybody, I don't mean to hit you over the head with my favorite hammer, uh, people like Michael and Opus and Berkeley Fudge and Lee Cowan and Bill Shafkin, and the list is almost endless, not only deserve your support, but they require your support. Uh, obviously, they want your money because this is what most of them do for a living. But it's your moral support that convinces them that this is the place they ought to produce their art. If you don't support that desire on their part, they're going to go somewhere else. It's important that you get out and support them. Uh, Michael will be at the Metropole. I'm told that Andy LaDuca will be featuring Lee Cowan at uh, the Bombay Bicycle Club this week. Uh, George is probably playing somewhere. <laughs> Berkeley and Mantee are playing somewhere. And it really is important that you go out and support these people. I mean, uh, I happen to think it's really the only important thing for you to support. Woody Shaw is going to draw an audience no matter where he goes. Joanne Brackeen isn't going to have any trouble drawing an audience. Guys like Michael Drake and Warren Wiegratz and the others as I said, not only deserve your, your support, but they require your support simply as a way of continuing to live in Henry City. Michael, it's been my joy, as always, to have you uh, as a part of the dark side. Thank you very much. I anticipate, I anticipate uh, getting my hands on the next EP just as soon as that's uh, possible. Certainly. And, and, and when you told me several months ago on the phone about the big band charts and arrangements, mm -hmm. you know how anxious I am to hear those things put down on a piece of wax so we can oh, spin yes. them. Really look forward to that. Definitely. I've been trying to get a, 
gig together at the Summerfest. Yeah. The budget doesn't uh, doesn't allow that. I'm I'm all set. I got a bunch of arrangements. Well, I have know. this very wealthy friend named Gene Johnson, and maybe <laughs> maybe Gene will just kick in the dough that we need, and we'll just do a thing. Oh, it'd be great. Wouldn't that be nice? Sure. Next time I see him, I'll ask him. How's that? Please talk to him for me. <laughs> Michael Drake, thanks again. We're going to finish up the hour mm. with uh, the recording called Jessica. The Michael Drake recording called Jessica, featuring Dwayne Stermer. Ron Kuzner is my name. This is the dark side. The dark side of Wednesday, the 28th of January, 1981. This is obviously fine arts programming from WFMR in Milwaukee.